Hey, it's Mark Lanier with your video thought for the day. Cleaning my glasses. My glasses are uh, kind of dirty and I don't see too well out of them right now. And that's not a good thing. I need to see better. See, look, I'm even looking at the wrong camera. I need to look over here. I don't have my glasses. That's better. How's your vision? How are you seeing? I don't just mean how do you see visually what's in front of you. How's your perception of what you see? I could ask the same thing about your hearing. What? You say. Yeah, about your hearing. How do you hear? See, the prophet Isaiah said something very profound about God's people, certain ones at certain times. Uh, it's something that Jesus quoted. Uh, uh, the, the prophet Isaiah said that you, you'll hear, but you won't understand. You'll see, but you won't perceive um, uh, because the heart has grown dull. Now, isn't that an interesting thing? Your eyesight, your hearing will be affected by your heart, your mind, your, 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 your thinking. And we know that to be true. In fact, I'm going to be giving a, a lecture Saturday night, and one of the things I'm going to reference is this concept of confirmation bias. Now, when we set our hearts on something, we tend to only see things that are consistent with our heart. When we set our mind or, or form a belief or an opinion, we have a tendency to only uh, uh, look at the evidence that supports our decision. We, we, don't, we, we, we have to work hard to listen or see something that's outside the circle of what we want truth to be. And this is so important for, for everyone. It's one reason I urge everybody to make their kids take high school debate or their grandkids, because high school debate trains you to argue both sides of an issue, to see both sides of a perspective. And it's just a human tendency to form opinions and then hold those opinions, even if they're outweighed by real evidence. And it's a problem with all of us when it comes to God. Because God is who God is, regardless of what we think about him. He exists whether we believe he does or not. We don't think him out of existence. And we don't think him into something he's not. God is who he is. And what I've got to do is try to make sure my glasses are clean enough that I not only see God for who he is, but I perceive the truth of who he is. I want to not only hear what he says to me through the word, I want to understand it. I don't want my heart to grow dull. I don't want my opinions to be such that I can barely hear or barely see God. And it, it takes effort. This isn't an easy thing to do, but it's something that we all need to strive for. So where does this end for me and your video thought for today and into this weekend? It's one where I want to make a deliberate effort to see God. And that starts with prayer. Lord, help me to see you for who you are. Help me to hear you for what you're saying and if we come to him with a willing heart and a sharp mind where we're, we're attentive, then we will grow in him. Who could ask for anything more? Now, that's your video thought for the day. I got to finish cleaning my glasses.